This is the Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today's first reading is from Sophania, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. And the Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. Thanks for joining today's Mass Readings and Reflections. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. First reading A reading from the book of Prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. Sing aloud, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and excel with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has cast out your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear evil no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst. A warrior who gives victory, he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exult over you with loud sounding as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or Elsa. Your response. Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Your response Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Your response Among you is the Great and Holy One of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Your response, Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believed that what was spoken to you by the word would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his posterity forever. 
and Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Today we are celebrating the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to St. Elizabeth, her kinswoman. This incident shares a joyous encounter between two expectant mothers. As for our today's reflection, I would like to reflect on the parallel made by St. Luke with the visitation of Blessed Virgin in today's Gospel with the 2nd Samuel chapter 6 about David's effort to bring the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. St. Luke intentionally sets up the subtle significant parallels between these two incidents. When Luke tells us that Mary arose and went into the Judean hill country to visit her kinswoman, he reminds us of how David arose and went into the same region centuries earlier to retrieve the ark. Upon Mary's arrival, Elizabeth is struck by the same sense of awe and unworthiness before Mary that David felt standing before the Ark of the Covenant. Parallels continue as the joy surrounding this great encounter causes the infant John to leap with excitement, much as David danced with excitement before Ark. Finally, Luke adds that Mary stayed in the house of Zechariah for three months, recalling how the Ark of Covenant was temporarily stationed in the house of Obad Edo for a waiting period of three months. Taken together, these parallels shows us that Mary now assumes a role in salvation history that was once played by the Ark of the Covenant. Like this golden chest, she is a sacred vessel where the Lord's presence dwells intimately with his people. Like the Ark of the Covenant represents the presence of God among the people, Mary shares the presence of God with us. We already saw Mary remained with Elizabeth for three months and saw her. Mary is still helping people behind the scenes in so many ways today. Mary assists people not only in such well-publicized shrines as Fatima and Lourdes, but also in ways that will probably never be known to most of us here on earth. We all have some experience to share in one way or the other which Our Lady helped us through her intercession. In this mystery of the visitation, that holy visit of three months, we see Mary like the Ark of the Covenant as a model of true spiritual service, quiet and silent service. This feast of the visitation invites us to seek the grace and the virtue of quiet service of the Lord. It is the real measure of our fidelity to Christ. May God bless you all.